The topic is memory blanks. Everyone gets them. Sooner or later you're going to have one in a meeting or a presentation. And every time a client tells me, you know, I had a memory blank, what should I have done? I can only think of two responses. The first response is, I think of a great song by Gordon Lightfoot, if I may. I've modified the lyrics because it really describes very nicely what happens to people when they're having memory blanks. If you could read my mind, friends, what a tale my thoughts could tell. But as I stand before you, I draw blank and I don't feel well. Gotta take my meds to get through this pitch. Oh Lord, give me a clue. Well, medication and religion are not your short-term answers. It's actually a terrible cocktail. Instead, I recommend that you remember the ABCs of dealing with a memory blank. And the whole goal is to bring the discussion to a closure. All right, let's look at the ABCs. A. Ask a question for listeners to reflect on. B. Tell them. Bottom line is this. Dot, 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 from the blanks. C. Contact me. That's right. C. Contact me so we can discuss this in greater detail. That way you have brought closure to our horrific moment in your communication life. But at least you dealt with it professionally. And that's how you can speak and impress.